Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday, um, the 16th day of February, still the second month of the year 2021, and still brrrr cold. Terrible out there. Just terrible out there. I hope you don't have to go outside in it, and if you do, I hope you wear a sweater. Um, so, happy Tuesday. Peace, love, yeah. Got ahead of myself there. Um, where to start today? Um, I realized that yesterday's post about uh, the explanation about uh, the events of Saturday night is not without its controversy. I realized that there are people out there that uh, are disappointed in me for for going through with the show. I realized that there are people that support me for what I what I did. Um, I appreciate the concern. I appreciate the support. Um, um, I, I realized that it was a risk. I realized that uh, I maybe I, that I need to stay home and isolate for a while just to make sure uh, I don't have any symptoms. And I realized that it's uh, probably a good idea that I, I go get tested now that I was exposed to so many uh, unprotected people. But uh, those are things that I'm aware of, and those are things that I will deal with in the coming days. Um, like I said, I appreciate the support, I appreciate the concern, uh, I appreciate that, uh, that it was a dangerous situation. But what I would like to say uh, is, uh, please don't presume to tell me what I should have done, or what you would have done in that position, because uh, unless you have stood outside of a small town bar, knowing that your ability to pay your rent or put food in your stomach relied on you going in and making uh, the crowd in there laugh, you don't know what you would have done, trust me. Um, and uh, that's just kind of the way it is. Um, those are my shoes. I'm walking in them. <clears throat> and, uh, and I understand that, that, uh, that it has more... I mean, I've said this from the very beginning. I, I know that it has... That my actions, that others' actions have more repercussions than just to themselves. So moving on from that... Um, Boy, I think we're getting to this point where the tensions are high. The news back on TV had a story about uh, mental health uh, just a little while ago uh, and anxiety and all that, and, and it's, reached, it's reached really bad proportions. There's more people suffering from anxiety and depression right now than probably ever, and, um, and it's really starting to take a toll, and... Uh, um, one of the things that this health, this mental health expert uh, said, uh, and I think I'll just share, is, is a way to to channel the energy, channel the strength, uh, is to, uh, one exercise you can do is close your eyes, settle into your chair where you're sitting, or if you're sitting on the floor, you know, if you're, uh, to close your eyes, ball your fists up, breathe deeply in, and Exhale and release your hands and do that over and over again. <sighs> hands down by your side. <sighs> do that over and over again. And I was doing it for a little while there before I made the bit video. And it actually inspired me to get up and do the video. Um, but just everybody's, everybody's, everybody's up uh, crazy right now. Well, not crazy. Everybody's, everybody's worked up. Everybody's. Uh, about something, whether it's a pandemic, whether it's polit politi political situation, whether it's what everybody's so fired up right now that uh, take time to relax and, and realize that, as I, and, I, and I've said this, we're all in this together. I'm not your enemy. And uh, just because somebody doesn't agree with you 100% and doesn't, you know, uh, uh, parrot everything you believe in it doesn't mean that you have to go off and 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 and, and argue and 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 fight it, it, try to understand try to listen um quickly the quote for today came to me last night when i was scrolling through facebook i started reading it not knowing who it was a post that somebody had put up and uh this is the quote for the day world peace can only be based on inner peace if we ask what destroys our inner peace, it's not weapons and external threats, but our own inner flaws, like anger. When you meet someone you don't like or someone says something unpleasant to you, it's your own response that disturbs your inner peace. 
This is why love and compassion are important, because they strengthen us, which is a source of hope. Thank you, Dalai Lama. It's your own response that disturbs your inner peace. And I found that out more than once yesterday and this morning. Um, it's my response that disturbs my inner peace, not the external. So remember, we're all in this together. All of us are in this together. One, one, one love, one, one people, one world. <sighs> peace, love, understanding.